Golston, we're here at 36th and H Street, and for the second day in a row, we're still looking at a tree on top of a house in the area. Instead of seeing some progress like we've got over here, this tree came down, pulling down power lines with it, but you can see now it's been chopped up and cleared from the road. This huge tree resting on the rooftop of this East Sacramento home turned out to be just the start of the storm damage Jan Ponticelli is now dealing with. She showed us inside. It's a little unnerving as a homeowner, but no problem. <laughs> Following the damaging wind came the rain. The table was pretty flooded um, where it's coming down from that chandelier. Then upstairs, there were more leaks. These are all new from yesterday here, here, here. She pointed to the ceiling of her bedroom, the same room she was in two nights ago when that tree came crashing toward her. I was standing here watching the trees kiss the ground, and I heard a crack, and I looked to my left, and here comes this tree. And I, not knowing if the roof would hold, went down on my belly, and it missed. <laughs> Since then, she's been trying to get help from her insurance company. The sooner you help, the less money you're going to put out for this historic home. And reaching out to tree care companies. I start with the bigger companies. But a lot of them are busy. Cleaning up the mess trees left in their wake throughout the city. On I Street near 23rd, Joey Kleeman is yet another homeowner dealing with the delay in damage cleanup. The magnitude of this is sinking in and I'm really not coping as well as people think I am. But, you know, I can't do anything about it. Except to get creative with her friends to try to keep the rain from doing even more damage now that the trees left her with a leaky roof. Liz came over this morning and um, just MacGyvered the heck out of it. So it's not going anywhere. It's going to divert the water. So if the city doesn't get to me today, I am less stressed. She's still waiting on a crew with a crane to remove this massive tree, waiting just like Ponticelli. I'm hoping. <laughs> she says she has a little anxiety, but mostly a lot of gratitude. It could have been so much worse. We did talk to a tree care company over the phone, but the owner said he was just too busy to do an interview. And to give you an idea of just how busy, he said he got about 50 to 60 calls today compared to maybe 10 they would get on a typical day. Live out here in East Sacramento, Liz Amy Tree, KCRA 3 News. Liz, thank you.